Thank you, Juan. Thank you very much. And your discussion reminded me of uh, I'm teaching a large lecture class about sustainable principles, and I I say to my students, one of the harangues I give them is, it all comes down to block size. You know, you can save, all the polar bears can be saved by block size. And I'm glad to have that reinforced by both you and Dawn, you know, that uh, apparently the problem of Chinese urbanization of a half a billion people comes down to block size. And I actually couldn't agree with you more, and it's very much about urban physical design. So a lot of commonalities, I think, between what Dawn is struggling with trying to take what was basically strip mall world of Wally and turn that into a center. And it's, I find it striking that you both agree that a lot has to do with the, the, the scale of the fabric to give it a somewhat uplifted way of being described uh, that's not simply block size. Uh, so uh, maybe Patrick Cotter will be talking about block size a little bit because he's our next speaker. And uh, Patrick founded the award-winning Cotter Architects all by himself, a firm with design expertise in large-scale mixed-use and transit-oriented developments. He's from our own region, but his work is uh, all, all over the place. And also, importantly, he's spent a lot of time working in Surrey. Um, mixed-use transit-oriented developments, urban design, and multifamily and senior housing. Uh, he combined recently with ZGF, and now it's ZGF Cotter Architects. And that was after su successfully collaborating on many projects, including three Civic Plaza uh, in Surrey City Center, which I think he'll speak to a little bit today, a 52-story mixed-use development in Surrey, BC. The, tr the transformative urban impact of this development representative of Patrick's body of work, um, broadens and highlights ZGF's portfolio and is indicative of his leadership and compatibility with the ethos of the firm. Patrick's notable current projects include large-scale mixed-use developments that thoughtfully increase the density, livability, and sustainability of, the, of cities in the United States, Canada, and Europe. I also want to say he's been a very willing participant in our urban design program, and I really admire the effort that you've made in the surrounding communities, particularly in Surrey. So I'd like to welcome you with that up to the stage, Patrick, and please join me in welcoming. <laughs> 